First at six, a 70 year old man is recovering this afternoon after a pit bull attacked him and his German Shepherd. Seminole County deputies say the dog also went after someone else and her pup that same day. West Shoes Christina Watkins shows us the video and the injuries, and we want to warn you the images are graphic and may be hard to watch. Jeanette Vescovi and her son were about to get in the car with their two year old dog, Janetto, when all of a sudden this happened. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office says on Friday, just before 8.30 that morning, a pit bull from the neighborhood tried to attack the pug. <coughs> Vescovi's husband, Timothy, ran out to help stop it. I've never heard her scream like that. It was a blood curdling scream. <coughs> it shook Janetta like a rag doll. It, he it was going for the kill. It, was, was it trying, grabbed them right yeah. here, trying to snap its neck. The pug escaped all right, but the pit bull managed to grab Vescovi's left leg. I don't want that pit bull in this neighborhood or anywhere. It's danger wherever it goes. That same day, neighbors tell me those two dogs went right down the street just to block over and attacked another person and their dog. It ran from here, just came and attacked my dog and me too. 70-year-old yeah. Bipen Patel showed us what happened after he was attacked. I got bruises and this one is very bad over here. It's become like bruish and so many places and see my eye over here. He now has stitches in his right hand and a bruised eye. The German Shepherd, Lola, is recovering at the vet from injuries near her neck. They have a tube in her right there for all the pus and the blooding to come out and she does have stitches on them. They're like, oh man, your dog was very close to dying. And Seminole County Animal Services confirmed in a statement to West 2 they have two pit bulls in custody. They're finishing their investigation, but it's likely at least one of the dogs in the video is considered dangerous. In the meantime, both families say they plan to carry sticks and other weapons when walking their dogs to try to stay safe. It's never going to be the same. My mind is permanently altered. In Seminole County, Christina Watkins, West 2 News. Seminole County Animal Services says the owner of the pit bulls received multiple citations for injuring someone, not having their dogs on a leash, and not getting them vaccinated.